everybody, Mr. Bullock here, and this is uh, Geometry Lesson is on Names and Properties of Triangles. Uh, a lot of this you've seen before, so especially this, uh, Names of uh, Triangles by the Sides. A scalene triangle has no equal sides. An isosceles triangle has at least two equal sides, so it could have three equal sides. And the equilateral triangle has three equal sides. So all isosceles triangles are equilateral, but typically if it has two equal sides, we call it an isosceles triangle, and if it has three equal sides, we'll call it an equilateral triangle. Okay, so names of triangles by the angles. Okay, an acute triangle has three acute angles, so they're all less than 90. That's what acute means. A right triangle has one right angle in it. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle in it. So right is 90 and obtuse is greater than 90. Okay, and then an equiangular triangle has three equal angles, and they're all equal to 60, by the way. Okay, and note uh, uh, an equilateral triangle, a triangle is equilateral if and only if it's equiangular. So, so it's equiangular if and only if it's equilateral. Okay, so um, uh, you'll use that a lot also. Okay, so some theorems, you guys. Triangle sum theorem, all angles in a triangle add to 180. We've discussed that already before. Okay, uh, the acute angles. Okay, so these acute angles, I, I did this in blue, so you're looking at this blue A and this blue B. These are my acute angles in this right triangle. Okay, so the acute angles of a right triangle, let me talk you through this, you guys. Triangles are 180. If that's 90, then these two guys got to be the rest of the 180. So these two guys got to be 90 to match up with that 90. And so 90 means if they add to 90, they're complementary. So the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So A and B would be complementary. Okay. Okay, definitions. An exterior angle of a triangle forms a linear pair, which is a straight line, with an interior angle. So this angle right here, see how it's forming a straight line with an interior angle of the triangle? Okay, so this is called an exterior angle. Watch when I extend this side right here. Okay, and it makes that angle out there. This is not, even though that's on the outside of the triangle, that's not considered an exterior angle because it's not making a linear pair, a straight line with the inside angle. These are vertical angles. So by definition, this is not called an exterior angle. This angle would be if I called that, say, angle 6 because it makes a straight line with angle 2. Okay, but uh, this one's not because it doesn't make a straight line. Okay, so those are exterior angles. The two non-adjacent angles, okay, the other two angles, three and four up here, they're called remote interior angles, okay? So if this is my exterior angle, angle one, three and four would be called the remote interior angles. All right, I do this uh, after that uh, uh, exterior angle and remote interior angle. I always draw this figure right here. There's lots of angles right there, and there's a triangle centered in the middle. Okay, let's just kind of uh, go around real quick. Can you see 7 is an exterior angle because it makes a straight line with angle 1? 8 is not because it doesn't make a straight line. 9 is because it makes a straight line. What about 12? Is it, a straight, is it an exterior angle? Yes, because it makes a straight uh, line with angle 2. Okay, so let's look at angle 4 right here. Angle 4 is an, is an exterior angle, so the remote interior angles are the two other angles, not angle 3, it's the other two inside angles, so angles 1 and angles 2. Okay, angle 6. Okay, let's look at angle 6. Okay, well, that's, uh, that makes a linear pair with angle 3 still, so it also has remote interior angles with angle 1 and angle 2 also. Okay, what about angle 7? Angle 7 is over here, so it's not this one. It's going to be this time 2 and 3. And same with angle 9. Angle 9 is also, because it makes linear pair with angle 1, angles 2 and 3 also. Okay, so, uh, and then 10 and 12. 10 forms a linear pair with 2, so 1 and 3 would be the remote interior angles. And the same with 12. 12 is a linear pair with 2, so 1 and 3 would also be uh, the, the remote interior angles. Okay, so a theorem, you guys. The measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. This next example explains that theorem. So this exterior angle here equals the sum of this angle plus this angle right here. It's equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So here I get, I, when I do the 2x minus 5 equals 70 plus x right there, or x plus 70, I get x equals 75 right there. Uh, x is typically not the answer, so plug in x for jkm. I'm going to plug it in right there, and so when I plug it in, I get 145 degrees. 
Okay, how about this one here? It says find the measure of angle one. So again, I'm going to say this exterior angle equals this one plus this one. Here we go. And then so we're going to get uh, x equals 25. I'm going to plug in 25 right here to get uh, that guy to be 115. So this is 115. And this straight line is 180. They're asking for angle one right there. So 115 plus 65 would give me my straight line of 180. So angle 165. Okay, so triangle ABC has vertices uh, uh, negative 5, 4, uh, 2, 6, and 4, negative 1. Classify the triangle by the sides and the angle. So I want to know, first of all, by the sides, is it scalene, isosceles, or equilateral? So I'm going to have to use distance formula to figure out the lengths of these sides right here. And then by its angles, I think the only thing I can classify by the angles is, this, is it a right angle or not right there? So what I'm going to do is, is use slope formula and see if I get opposite reciprocals to get a right angle right there. I'm almost sure it's going to be. So here's a distance and, mid, and slope formula right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do distance formula of AB, of BC, and of AC. And I want to see if any of the sides are equal. And I'm going to do the slopes of slope AB, the slope of BC, and the slope of AC with all of those. And I did it all at once. I'm going to save some time right there. And I found out that AB is the square root of 53. AC, or BC is also the square root of 53. These sides are equal. They're both root 53, so it's an isosceles triangle right there. And then look, the slope of uh, AB is 2 sevenths. The slope of BC is the opposite reciprocal, negative 7 halves. So that's a right angle because they're perpendicular. These guys are perpendicular. So that tells me uh, it's an isosceles right triangle.